Now, there was a problem uh, with this. Now, there's nothing wrong with the formula in as such, okay? It is perfectly correct. However, when we uh, were using the uh, McLaren series to get to this form, um, we had to differentiate 1 plus x to the n several times and then substitute 0 into each of them. Okay, And that worked out quite nicely because we kept on getting 1 to the power of n or 1 to the power of n minus 1 or 1 to the power of n minus 2, which all of which are 1. Okay, However, if we'd started off with 2 plus x to the n, then when I'm substituting in 0, um, the formula would have to change. And so this only works when I can substitute 0 into that and get 1 to the power of something. So this only works if this is 1, if you have 1 plus something, okay, some x. It could be 1 plus 2x or 1 plus x over 3. That doesn't matter because you'd be substituting 0 in and you'd still get 1 to the n. Okay, so it only works if you've got 1 plus something or 1 minus something. So if I wanted to expand any of these three, okay, using this formula, I must get them into this format of 1 plus x to the n. Okay, I must rearrange it so that I can get it into that format. Now the way to do this is to factor out, okay. So with this first one, I know that you'd be able to do this one using the regular binomial expansion, but if you wanted to use this formula, you would have to first take 5 to the power of 3 outside of the bracket. And I'll show you what I mean, because if you just think about factorising what's inside the bracket, so ignore that 3 for the moment, you would have to have 5, and then you'd have 1 plus 2 fifths x. Okay, so 5 lots of 1 is 5, 5 lots of 2 fifths x is 2x, okay? And that would be all to the power of 3. So we've got here 5 to the power of 3, 1 plus 2 fifths x to the power of 3, okay? So now you can say, well, that's 125 lots of 1 plus 2 fifths x to the power of 3. And you can now expand the 1 plus 2 fifths x to the power of 3 because it's in the format of 1 plus x to the n. When I substitute in x is 0, I would get 1 to the power of something. Okay, And so this formula would work. And I could just multiply each of my terms by 125. Okay, And that will now work. If we look at this second one, we're going to do exactly the same process. This time we'll pull 8 outside, and we'll have uh, sorry, 1 minus 3 eighths x, and it'll be to the power of a third. So you've got 8 to the third times 1 minus 3 eighths x to the third. 8 to the third is 2, so 1 minus 3 eighths x to the power of a third. And you can now expand 1 minus 3 eighths x to the power of a third using the formula because it's in the format of 1 plus x to the n. And then you would multiply each of your terms by 2. This last one, exactly the same process. Take 4 outside, have 1 plus 2 over 4, so 1 half x uh, to the power of minus 2. So we've got 4 to the power of minus 2, 1 plus a half x to the minus 2. 4 to the minus 2 is 1 over 16, 1 plus a half x to the minus 2. And so we could then expand the 1 plus half x to the minus 2 as far as we need to go, and then multiply everything by 1 16th. Okay? And that is how we can do the first step of using this binomial expansion. You must get it in to this format where you have 1 plus something or 1 minus something. Otherwise, the formula won't work.